What is going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Just want to make a quick video and talk about a pretty cool app for our Shopify stores that's going to really help boost or at least get the attention, grab all the different communication avenues when it comes to our abandoned checkouts. So the app I'm talking about is called Recart. And Recart really takes advantage of a lot of different features that you're going to have to either have multiple apps for or a lot of apps and things out there don't even have these features available um, that can really help boost those recovery abandoned carts. So first off, obviously they have the abandoned cart email series. This is just standard. You can do it with any email series out there. You can do it even just with the Shopify platform itself. Um, but they have a cool extra feature that you can add on there, which is the add to cart pop-up. So when someone clicks add to cart or buy now, your buy button, they have a little uh, pop-up that comes up here. Please enter your email. And instead of having them to go enter it on the checkout page after whatever your add to cart process is, usually if you click add to cart, either a pop-up will come up and they can continue shopping. Maybe a drawer slides out from the side. Maybe they go directly to the cart page. Whichever method that you use, most times they're going to have to click another button or two buttons to be able to get to the checkout page, which then they enter their email. So it takes those, those, those two or three extra steps to collect this abandoned cart email that you can use to recover. This step pops up right away and gets them to add that email instantly. Now, cool thing about Recart is they also have Facebook Messenger features installed as well. So instead of adding their email, they can sign up with their Facebook Messenger and we can send abandoned cart series through their Messenger bot, through a Messenger series, which works really well as, as well. Now, from this so far, I've just had it installed maybe three or four days. A couple thousand viewers coming in, a uh, hundred added carts maybe or whatever. Uh, but what you can see here, we've had a pretty good conversion rate. I haven't seen a big drop off from add to carts to getting to the checkout process. So that means this isn't really turning too many folks away that actually have that buyer intention already. And again, like I said, it gives us the email a few steps earlier. Now, a cool thing also with Recart is they, they save that email and when they actually get to the checkout page, it'll automatically fulfill that email in there if they entered it at this step. So it's not adding an extra step in the process, makes everything very seamless and seems like a very helpful uh, feature so far. Again, I've only had it three, four days in here. We're going to give it another maybe 30 days, see how the numbers work out. But this is a really cool little feature that gets things going. Now, again, the next feature that I really like is the messenger. There's lots of tools out there for your messenger features uh, to, to just get them in a bot, get them into a, a, a communication asset, just like email. This is just a cool extra step to be able to talk to your customers more on platforms that they're regularly using. Now, they have a few different ways we can collect these messenger uh, um Subscribers, one, you can have a widget here on your product sales page. So underneath the product buy button, we have a little get 5% off your order. Just sign up here. They click send a messenger, get discount, and then automatically the discount code that I've created on the store pops up there and they can do the add to cart function. Now they could have we could have it where it doesn't have this discount offer and it just has them. They can send the messenger right away. They're on our bot. Now they also have customer chat. You like to have a live chat feature going on your store and that's exactly what we turned on here so that it's set up with our messenger, our Facebook messenger. If they chat with us on the store, you check out our store here, bottom right, click it, how can we help? Barnyard Bliss, chat now, they click chat now, they then click continue as who they are and they would be in our messenger bot series. Um, so that's another way we connect. And then you also saw that add to cart pop up, which has the messenger feature there as well. So a lot of different ways that we can get them on our messenger series, which is just the same as the email series just comes in a different form, maybe different messages. Maybe we have a special coupon code that's only for our messenger. But again, it gives us more assets we can broadcast out there. We can send blast emails, we can send blast messengers, uh, messenger messages, all that type of stuff. And you can see it also um, integrates with a few other cool lead generation platforms out there like Wheelio. that's that little pop-up, that's the, the wheel, they can win a contest. They could sign up and set up with email, buy Messenger with this, and it looks like Optimunk's another one here. Um, so 
Lastly, the, the feature they have here is the push notifications. You can turn this on. I had this on for about two, three days there. Didn't really like the slide down. We've all had the slide down push notifications when they uh, come to the, uh, any page here. We can set the timer, but I had within 10 seconds, it would slide down from the top here and say, hey, would you like to get push notifications? This is the message it would have. Um, on the mobile view, it took up a lot of the screen. We have both the recent purchases little app that shows like notify or recently three or whatever it's called where it'll show what's been bought in the last 24 or 36 hours so that's popping up on the bottom and then we have this notification for push subscribers popping up on the top and on the mobile view that was cutting off like most of the screen so i turned this off didn't really, I mean, push subscribers are cool. That's pretty much just they're getting a message on their cell phone. So like if you get an email on your cell phone here, it pops up in the middle, push notification. We can have that same thing happening with our store. I got eight subscribers in the two, three days we had there. I sent one push subscriber um, message out. We got like a 23, 22% open rate, but no one purchased or bought or anything. So I turned this off just mostly because it was distraction. Depending on how you have your site laid out and what you're going to be doing with push notifications might be worth it to you to try out but for me i'm keeping them off of the uh off my my store now so far this is our stats in the past two three days um 23 messenger subscribers are eight push subscribers but we turned those off and then 32 abandoned cart emails collected so far again we've had maybe 2,000, 2,500 viewers total, um, maybe 50 to 100, you know, 75 add to carts or something like that. Um, so <clears throat> right now, again, our numbers are low, but you can see just the power of this. We did notice that our abandoned cart emails here they are converting much better than our MailChimp version that we had before. Um, so that's something good to see. Again, very low data here. We're gonna have to give it a month, to get hundreds to thousands of people going through this to really be able to see how it goes. We just sent our first messenger put, uh, campaign this morning. You can see that one, 20% off entire store. Today's President's Day. So I did that one so far. It's 50% open rate, 9% click rate. Only 22 people sent. So again, a very low amount there. Can I look at this? I guess it's already been sent. Um, I did, I guess I got it sent to myself. Here it is right here. You can see, oh, Barnyard Bliss, happy President's Day. We have an awesome 20% off President's Day sale going on today. Go grab whatever you like best. Boom, boom, boom. They can click there. Go shop now. And they're sent to our store. So that's just kind of showing you cool little tools here, powers of Recart. Um, seems like a really helpful app. I'm going to give it a shot here, see how the delivery systems are. Now, it doesn't have email blast, so you're going to have to still have an email um, autoresponder program set up. Clavio, MailChimp, um, Active Campaign, Market Hero, whatever it is you're using, you're going to need that for your newsletters, your back-end emails, and all that. They have a few features coming in the future, it looks like. Welcome emails, and then... Uh, follow-up campaigns and everything like that is on the messenger but right now this is the features they've got i'm loving the messenger um abandoned cart series i'm loving the add to cart email pop-up seems like we're catching more leads that way that would have we might have lost anyways um and then i'm just liking the messenger pushes out there and we're combining this we're going to start using this with many chat which we've talked about before i haven't set it up with barnyard bliss yet but that'll be in play for messenger bot so we'll have the entire facebook messenger side really handled well um uh, lots of other apps out there that can do these things again, like I said, but loving Recart so far. Go, just go, so go check it out. Got a seven day free trial for you. Um, the pricing structure on this is one of those where I think they take a percentage of what you're doing. So extra sales, zero to a hundred, a thousand extra sales is $29 price tag. You can see how uh, the more it, it adds on there, the more it's going to get you. But um, at that point, you're probably going to be setting up different apps or uh, unique tools that can do all these things for your, for your business as well. And if not, this is probably definitely worth it. I mean, right now we're at 115 extra dollars 
created in the first three days on a store that is just starting to ramp up again. So not huge amount of sales coming in, not a lot of traffic, a little gentle stream, but it is adding a lot of recovery to those abandoned carts. And just again, I'm loving that, the cart mess and the messenger features all the way. So guys, go check out Recart. Let me know if you have any questions and I will fill you in on updates as we see what works here. So thanks guys. Travis Patel here. Have a good one.